OK, John, goal of at Luton today. What, what did you make of it out there? A difficult afternoon? Yeah, tight game. Um, I think we started really well on the front foot. Uh, lost our way a little bit, got a bit sloppy. Um, you know, struggled, I suppose, to create many clear-cut chances. Um, but listen, a clean sheet away from home gives you a great chance to win the game. Um, we didn't do that, so it's, it's disappointing, really. Is it about small steps at the minute? I mean, it has been a, a, a really difficult start to the season all round. Yeah, um, you know, it's never easy to, to obviously get going straight away. Um, you know, we, we want to get better, we want to improve, we want to put what we're doing in training into practice and, you know, it's on us to, to improve on that. I don't think we've shown what we're capable of as players, as a team yet. Um, you know, we can play a lot better than that and, you know, we need to we need to have a have a think about it and you know have a look at where we're going wrong and try put it right for the next game in a couple of weeks. What do you put it down to over the last few weeks? Is there still a bit of a hangover from last year? Is it getting used to the new boss or a bit of all of the above? No, I think barring the West Brom game, you know, every game's been a really tight game. Um, you know, you you win tight games, you lose tight games, and you know it's it's just been unfortunate that we couldn't maybe get a first goal or break the deadlock in, in a few of the games so far. Um, but we're not creating enough, to be honest. Um, you know, people might look at the strikers, this and that, but you know, we're not we're not giving them chances. We're not creating chances for them. So, you know, it's quite hard to, to get the breakthrough. So we we've got to look at that and try and try and work on that in the future. Is that potentially a confidence issue at the minute? I wouldn't say confidence. I think it's a confident group of lads. I just think it's when you're on the pitch, you have to walk the walk, uh, and we're not doing that at the moment. Um, you know, we we know we're a good team. We've got some good players, and you know, it's about going onto the pitch and doing it. And you know, that's the only place you're going to get judged is out in the, on the pitch on Saturday, three o'clock, whenever the game is. And you know, we, we've got to up our standards um, as the season goes on because you know we we're not playing to our maximum, and we know that. How have you found Slavisa Kanovic so far and in terms of what he's asking you to do? Is, is that clear in terms of the direction you're getting going onto the pitch? Yeah, clear. Um, you know, he's a great coach, um, you know, a brilliant man and he has all the respect in the world from all the players. Um, you know, the manager and his staff have come in and, you know, they've, they're bringing in fresh ideas and, you know, we're working hard and training every day to try, try and implement that. Um, I think you see flashes of it now and again today. Uh, it's coming off, but we need to be more consistent with it. Um, you know, we need to believe in ourselves. We need to back ourselves, and you know, we we can't kind of be in this zone where we're mixed. We don't know what we're doing. You know, we know what to do. It's just we have we have to stick to it. Sometimes we don't stick to it, and I don't know why. But you know, we, we've got to got to get our heads down and you know really believe in it and believe in ourselves. The managers talked about bringing in a few new faces before the, the transfer window closes. I mean, it's it essentially put you all on. Uh, on record of your places and everything like that, but can that give everyone a bit of a lift and a bit of a boost over the next few weeks? Hundred percent, yeah. I think every year, you know, you need to strengthen no matter what, and you know, competition for places as well. You know, you you, you want you want as high of a quality of squad as you can get. Um, you know, as players, it's always good to see new players come in because you know they raise a standard. You want to impress them; they want to impress you. Vice versa. You know, you want your place in the team, they want their place in the team and, you know, it only bodes well. Um, so, I don't know, obviously, as players, we don't get involved in all that, but that's just what it's like when new players come in. One of the new players that has already come in, in, in Ben Davis, has played it a few times now. Do, do you like what you see from him? Seems to have a, a cool head on his shoulders. Fantastic player, yeah. Uh, fantastic lad as well. And, you know, I think he's shown in the first two games what a quality player he is. Um, you know, he's fitted in. You know, seamlessly in, into probably a problem position really for us over the last year um, since Jack has been injured, and you know he's fitted in there, and you know he's he's been different class last year. Last week I thought he was different class, and he was different class again today. Are you confident that things will come together this season from what you've seen already, despite the, the tough start? Yeah, listen, we can get better, uh, we can improve. We're hungry, we want to do well. Um, it's about going out into the training pitch now. Obviously, a few of us are away from internationals for a couple of weeks, but. When we come back, rearing to go and you know try and try and pick up some wins. Excited for a few games with Ireland now. Yeah, really excited. Love meeting up with the lads. Um, meet up early tomorrow morning. Looking forward to that. Um, always probably the biggest honour is going away with your country and you know representing your country. So I'm, I'm proud to to represent the you know the Ireland badge again for the next two weeks. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks very much. Cheers.